Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Open Some Packs. Um, today's episode is actually one that we've been building up to, which is the one based on um, the plastic playing cards that I have opened. I have a better camera now too, so you have seen some. And I'm actually going to do some comparisons, uh, actually with only one of them, because it's the only one that you can really not see. Uh, but yeah, before we start, uh, let's see. I got to do all the like, subscribe, uh, comment. Oh, I'm thinking about doing some giveaways in the future. Uh, maybe want to hit like 100 or so subscribers, maybe near around there. If that's something y'all are interested in, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, like giveaway stuff. I might do packs that I that I open giveaway. I don't know if that's something that would be okay. Uh, new packs, obviously. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one other thing. I have my own deck. I am, uh, if you want to check it out, digodex.com. Uh, the store for this will be open for a couple more months, and then I'm going to close it uh, to just focus on some other stuff, and then eventually open it again in the future. But yeah, so let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this review. Um, not review, a comparison. And we did all of these, and uh, I didn't really know anything about plastic playing cards, got these and fell in love and then I just wanted to try them all out and there's more there's like a couple of other brands not all of them do the um, the uh, the poker some do like different kinds of um, from different countries different kinds of games and things like that but yeah we're gonna focus on these right now and I'm gonna do them in the order that I kind of remember doing them and then yeah just kind of give you the the what's up on the end right like which ones to get and I'm gonna rate them and let's see a couple of different uh, different ways. So the first way is going to be how they feel. That's the big one for me. How they feel. And uh, yeah, we'll start with. Um, let me put them in order here. I think I did them. I think I did them like this. Yeah, and then these were last. So let's put them over here, and I'll start laying them out. Uh, so we started with the cam. Now, if you saw my original video. I'm very sorry, but the, uh, I like starting with red. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, why are they on the, isn't red usually on the, on this side? Anyways, um, if you remember, there was even a comment. Someone's like, can you please like clear your video? It's like, I'm really sorry. My camera was not that good. And that camera is better for outdoors because you get better lighting. Um, and yeah. And you know what? I had mentioned this before with other cards. Uh, these actually do have a smell. I did not uh, catch it the first time. Wonder why. Um, I can smell it now. So this is the Chem, K-E-M. I don't know how to say it. These are 100% plastic cellulose acetate. And these are, they feel really good. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them how they feel, how they look, and quality. Uh, and then the Jokers and the Ace. Like we're gonna rate those two. So, uh, quartz, pretty traditional. You can see there, bring it up, like, look at that. You can actually see the detail, not like on my other camera. Traditional pips um, and indices, uh, which you can clearly see uh, there. I love this ace. This is one of my favorite aces. Look at that, look at how good that looks. Again, you couldn't see that in my other video, but I love that ace. Um, so let's bring the ace out. Oh, wait, actually, before we bring the ace out, we have to, here's some more of the quartz so you can see them. Pretty clear, pretty cool. I like them. And here was the big thing. So these on my other camera, you can't really see them, but these, and now you'll be able to see it. They're, it's a cool like joker, but they're super pixelated. Is that coming in? You see that? Let me bring it even in closer. You see how the art is like super pixelated? In my other camera, you can't pick that up. There's uh, someone mentioned this and I don't know if it was on YouTube. I post in other places too. And they had mentioned like, I thought it was an error. Um, this might be on the YouTube. I can't remember where, but they were like, I thought it was an error and I actually sent them back. Um, but, but this is a thing. And then another, in another place I posted, they actually commented that this is most likely due to uh, it being an old file image file that they used. Um, but yeah, regardless, the jokers, in my opinion is the weakest thing of this deck. So love this ACE. Very cool. ACE ACE is cool. I like how it has that classic 
very simple font like it's nothing too fancy but it's it's it this card clearly looks like the best card in the in the in the deck and that's a big deal for me back design is awesome look at that back design and the blue the blue has this really interesting like light bluish tint to it that it's not too strong but it's still very vibrant i really like that and i love the red too by the way they, they were bought by bicycle or united states playing card company uh, and this is how I got into plastic playing cards. I went to them and um, was looking for a deck, and I saw these, and I'm like, "What? What is this?" And that's how I got into it. So, but I ended up getting these. So I'll, oh, I'll also give you the price. So I ended up getting these from. Let's see. I have I have some information this time. I'm not going to be so like random. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? I got these on Amazon. Because they had sold out of them from Bicycle. I was originally going to order them from Bicycle. $31, or $33 on Amazon is what I paid. And uh, yeah, they were a little bit more from dealers. Dealers usually sell a little bit more expensive uh, from what I've seen. Um, which is cool. Support the dealer, I think. That's cool. Um, and okay, let me tell you how these feel. These feel so good. Like they're unbelievably like just... I don't know how to explain it. You have to just hold, they're really soft and they're like, but they're still like, they're still like, they come back, you know, like they're kind of, they're still kind of springy. Does that make sense? Um, you have to just feel this. They, they're, they're, and I, this is the deck that got me into plastic playing cards. And you know, um, so look at that. Really good. Okay. So let's move on. Let's not stay too much on cam. Love the cams. The only downside so far, so if I had to give like grades, A plus on the back design, A plus on the quartz and the in the pips and indices, A plus on the colors, A plus on the soft feel, the great greatest feeling. We'll, probably at the end, like we'll, we'll we'll see who's the best feeling. Joker's get an F minus though because of that pixelated. Uh, they had done it on purpose if that was the thing, yeah. But so far, uh, yeah, no bueno. So I'll leave that there. Let's move on to the um the copac so this was the second one because i didn't know they were they were they were the uh the uh, oh someone posted too about like the different materials and i'll post that now uh um i'll post a um, a little like uh, some comments of what the materials are and actually i have them right here let me bring them up and read them uh they were thanks for that by the way because i i don't personally um I'm not going to go into uh, the, um, the, the, oh my goodness, I'm stuttering. Into all the, like, the deep, like, how everything is made. Like, I just buy, I'm like, hey, what is this plastic? I want to find it out, and I open it. So you're kind of experiencing it with me as, as well. And a lot of the people that watch the videos or that are on these uh, forums and stuff, they, uh, they know more about these than I do. So, like, the materials and stuff. Um, and this is one from... Okay, yeah, this is from an ordinary fox mentioned that uh, that these are made in Brazil, and let's see, Ard Ard Bij, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, said that they're made from Copag is PVC. Okay, so this is PVC plastic. Yeah, and then uh, Ali eight eight nine nine said that the acetate, such as Chem, so Modiana, which we'll get to in a second, that's these. They're made from the, uh, the 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 cellulose acetate, and these are PVC. And I think a lot of these other ones are PVC. And then the, there's a comment here where it's uh, he's mentioning the um, the other ones, the the bicycles. We don't know what they're from. Um, oh, I got it. I'm a little parched here. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. So let's do this. You know, we're not going to do this one because it's it's. I don't want it to be unfair. Because the back design on that is so awesome. Let's try to keep it to the red and blue. Oh, and I went to the wrong one. All right. This back design is so good. I love these. And I wouldn't be fair. Because I would just like be like, well, the back design kind of calls it all. So back design on those is really good. And I'm going to tell you, they smell a little uh, strong. So as soon as I open that case, I'm like, what? Welcome to the toy store. Love this little thing here. Ouch. <laughs> as it pokes me. All right, so let's check these out. So these have a really interesting feel too. Like as soon as you hold them, they feel really firm. Uh, and I kind of like that, you know? The, uh, ooh, and they're soft too, you know? They're really soft. 
Um, and they have a really strong smell. Like, and I think the smell would probably go away as you play with them. Oh, let me tell you about the quartz. I, I like these two. These are really clear, classic. Um, Pips and Indices seem pretty standard as well. Um, slight variation, you know, like they always slightly change, but they're kind of the same. And you look, look at that. Um, and as you know, you have more red, so you can kind of tell the difference. Now, I always like it whenever you can glance at one of these, a quartz. And you know if it's uh, red or if it's if it's black, you know. Uh, let's find the ace. Here's the ace, and then the two jokers, which I believe are here. Oh, and you get an ad card. Cool. So, the jokers. Really cool jokers. I love these. I like this one more than this one. This one's cool. It's a little. Uh, what is the name of that group that paints their faces in like magnets? How do they work? <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that vibe. Insane Clown Posse, that's what it is. It reminds me of like that kind of vibe. This one is just, it's just creepy and it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. Uh, love these jokers though. Really cool. Um, and then this is the uh, the ace, which is also very simple. And I like that. I'm not, I'm not into the, sometimes the, sometimes it's okay. But like with card games like this, you're going to be playing poker. Like you don't want something that's going to be too distracting, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, and let's get to how they feel. Then you get an ad card, which I always think is good because I like to like practice uh, certain moves that you can uh, you can only practice with uh, you know so with cards you don't want to mess up. But yeah, these feel also really good. Like uh, they smell very strong. Though. though, as I'm doing that, I can I'm really picking up a lot of a lot of PVC. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's there all right. So yeah, so these feel really good. They feel, I think the chem feel a little better. I'm gonna say it now, feel a little better, but I love this back design. And they have many back designs. And you saw this other one, which chem doesn't have a back design like this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you anyways. Let's cheat a little bit. Look at these back designs. Those are awesome. I love those colors too. Yellow is my favorite color. Um, and yeah, they have a really strong, so they kind of smell like fireworks today. They didn't smell like fireworks last time. Feel really good though. I like these. Shuffling feels really good. These actually shuffle as almost as good as the other ones. But like, it's so minute. And look at that, you get Pharaoh with them. So good. Okay, so that's the Copags. Let's leave the art card out like this. I'll leave the Jokers. Because I have a feeling it's gonna come down to some random um, okay, next up, Modiano. So what have we done? We've done the KEM. We've done the the Copacs. And now we're doing the Modianos. And I, oh, and the Copacs, by the way, uh, let me give you the price on those. So the Chems were 33 bucks. The Copag were, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's find it right here. Where did I order? Oh, I ordered these specifically from them. And they were on sale. They had like a really cool sale. Like you buy two decks, you get a free, uh, World Series poker uh, deck, and I showed that in the video, the original review. Uh, and these Modiano were the Copag were eighteen are eighteen ninety five right now on Amazon. Specifically, this one, so nineteen bucks straight up, you know. And the Cam were like I told you thirty three bucks, so that's where we're at now. All right, so what's next? What is this? I have a lot of I have them all up this time. So we're gonna Modiano. These were really hard to find. I had to go to eBay for these, and at eBay. I paid $40. Um, it was $43.30 total to get these. I could not find these anywhere um, that had them in stock. Modiano themselves sold out. They have a website. I ordered from them and uh, they had sold out. And then I had to uh, call them and they had to cancel the order and it was a whole big deal. Someone also asked about that and it's like, yeah, they they're, they sold out. Like they, people buy them. People like these. Um, and there's a reason why. So these these are really these are really cool cards. I really like you get the three jokers here too, which is kind of cool. Um, I really like these cards. Uh, again, forty three dollars on eBay. Uh, they're made in Italy. Uh, they're one hundred percent acetate too. So they're like the uh, like the chem, right? So PVC acetate acetate. These feel a little rougher, and they feel a little sturdier way sturdier than the chem. So softness wise, 
not these. These are a little harder. Uh, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they did it, but they're way harder than the, um, than the, and when I say way, it's like, it's not way. Like you probably could go to the street and show these to two people and they'd be like, yeah, they feel the same. I can feel them. If you shuffle and things like that, you'll be able to tell. Um, but yeah, so let's look at that back design. Look at that. Whoa. Classy, simple. I love it. Poker in the house. And these feel like a real deck of cards too. That's kind of the thing. Like a broken in deck. They feel really good. Um, not as soft as the chem though. Gonna say it. Chemers. Somehow they're softer. Same material. Uh, standard indices. I really like this. These, uh, their, their quartz are uh, some of my favorite. Here, let me show you. Because they have this like, look at how, look at how that looks. She looks depressed. <laughs> it's like, what? I don't know how they do it. They just, they portray a lot of emotion with these faces, which is like, and it's like this creepy, like, yeah. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like it when they do little things like this. I don't know. It's a little detail. Made in Italy. It's nice. All right, so let's check it out. So we have this ace. Very classy ace. Um, it's a little too busy for me uh, for like a standard game of poker. Like, look at how that is. It's in your face. Uh, but it's a really nice ace. So it's not too much of a problem to me. And I just noticed this. If you look here, you can see all of the uh, the diamond, the heart, the spade, the club. Pretty cool. Um, let's see. So standard, like I said, standard in the seas. And yeah, look at this guy's face. Like they have this very interesting. Like <laughs> it's so, it's so cool. Like they're so. And she just looks like unbelievably depressed. Like, come on, let's talk about it. All right. So uh, cool. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, the, this is one of the other things I noticed too. They do, and they do this in in, in Europe a lot. I've, I've noticed. Uh, and I just learned about this by l looking at other, um, listening to other designers, but they don't like to leave the empty space sometimes. So they'll add a little thing in there. And that's pretty cool that the heart has the, uh, the, the deer there. Uh, if it's a deer. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? We looked at the jokers. We looked at the ace. We looked at the back. The colors on this are very, very, pri like very primary. I like these two. I like them both. I like the chem colors too. And I like these. I like the copac colors. Like this red is, you can you can see the difference there, right? Like you can see how they're red, but they're they're all different. Um, very subtle, but very good. Very good colors they chose, and these are definitely harder. Let's look at this Joker one more time. Cool. All right, identical Jokers. Um, cool. That's. Modiano, oh, Copac, we have all those over there. Okay, let's see, you don't need this. And then we started getting into some other decks. Oh, by the way, so uh, I have nothing to complain here. So there's no like, oh, 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 oh. Uh, great jokers, great back designs. I mean, this is, it's, it's just, it's a nice joker. Um, yeah, okay, so test gear. So these are made in China. And I believe these are 100% plastic as well. I believe they're all plastic. I shouldn't. I should just stop saying that. This everyone was like, they look like a big deck of cards. Yeah, you get two in here, and these were. Let's see, where are you at? These were ten bucks. You get two decks for ten bucks. So so far, best quality or best uh, bang for your buck is this. You get two decks for the price of one. And my favorite was the brown one. So we're gonna look at that. Actually, I'll show you the other one too, just so you know, but um, the brown one was really good. And if you remember, I like this back design. You get two non-duplicate jokers, which is also a good thing. And that's them right there. And they're like super, super duper standard. These are casino, like you will see this in casinos a lot. The, this is the extra large, so they're not the standard. Um, pips and, and indices. Uh, and their red is like, it's a really weird red, right? It's like a cherry. I don't know how to explain it. It's like hot, hot red, hyper red. Um, yeah. So I don't know where the ace, let me find the ace real quick. Oh, and that's something I've noticed too with the plastic playing cards. They don't, they don't do the, these kinds of things like flourishing and, um, where are you at? There you are. 
Right, I remember now. So their standard ace was standard as a standard ace could be, which is cool. Because, uh, you know, when you're playing poker, because, you know, you don't want any distractions. You just want to be like ace. You want to be like, all right, now I got, whoa, that's a really nice ace. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, no, I forgot to count the card. Yeah, so um, I think it's cool that it's just kind of standard. And I like the back design. It's very cardistry, as I was saying before. These are really sturdy. Very, very sturdy. They feel good. They feel fine. They actually feel closer to the Modi to the Copag and Modiano. I believe these are more PVC ish ish, you know, um, than they, uh, than they they're really hard though. They're not softer than any of these. So this is probably the hardest one. Uh, look at that back design though. I love this back design. I don't know why it's super cool though. I love it. Um, don't like the jokers. These jokers are kind of a, they feel very clip clip art, you know what I mean? Like you they googled Jester and it's like for a kid's birthday party in 1970s like Romania, I don't know. Like just some random, it's, it's just such a random clip arty type art. Don't like it. Um and this back design is my least favorite. Uh it looks cool though. It doesn't look bad. Uh and these cards are the same. They're identical to the others. Uh but I'll leave out the brown one cuz it's I like it better than the, maybe you like the gray better, that's that's cool. So far though, for plastic playing cards, I wouldn't say not to get these. The best price so far, 10 bucks for two decks, sign me up. And on Amazon, there's other decks, there's like an into gear, there's like two other, three other brands. And I was like, that's enough. I got enough to kind of get a spectrum going on. Uh, and I believe a lot of those other ones are like these. So overall, uh, we're gonna do this one next. Overall, I would say this is probably the best Best one for the price. You get two decks for ten bucks, uh, and they're plastic, and you, these could probably last forever. Um, yeah. Uh, some people have commented some of them uh, the ink wears off. So these are the um, Regal Monaco Elites, and I got these on Amazon for twenty bucks. So you get two decks for twenty bucks. These are also one hundred percent plastic. I don't think they're they're acetate. They have linen finish though. Uh, these are also made in China, so I wouldn't be surprised if they made these in the same factory as they made these. <laughs> you know, we were looking at some beans the other day from two different places, completely different places, different labels, different everything. And they're even like promoting different things about the beans on the cans. Both beans come from the same place, the exact same, like, farm uh nothing different all right so jokers for the regal monaco 100 percent. what is it regal games monaco elite 100 percent plastic premium waterproof poker size playing cards that's a lot to say look at this joker feel the same way about this one that i did about the other one clip art from some renfest 1980s um painted on the wall like it's uh I don't like, look at that guy's, look, look, look at what he's doing there. What is it with that? <laughs> it's like, no, 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 no. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's look at, let's find the ace here. Okay. And the courts too. I kind of like these courts, honestly, because they're so, I don't like retro-y uh, and they're still standard. So I like the courts. The courts are cool. The problem I had with them was that the, the black, here, let me show you. Here's a black one. Here's a black one, and let me show you a red one. Oh, no, no, that wasn't these. Oh, which, 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 there was another one where they kind of, or maybe it was these. They look kind of similar to me. Uh, but now that I look at them now, I could be wrong. This I can see the red now more here. Uh, but I really like these courts. The courts are awesome. Uh, back design, it is incredibly simple. And, you know, you're going you're gonna to think I'm going to say I don't like it, but I do. If I'm playing card games with my, with my family, I don't want to be distracted by the back. Uh, so it doesn't bother me that it's so simple. I actually like it better than something like this. This is too, I don't know. It just, it kind of takes you like, you know, and this is, this is very red versus blue. It's very standard. Um, but yeah, let's find that ace. Let's find that ace. When I put him down on the ground or the ground, the, uh, the, uh, the mat here, but yeah, like I said, with plastic playing cards, they just don't feel the same. 
All right, so I like the A's too. It's a little fancy. It's kind of like a little um, standard fancy, I guess. It's not too, too, too fancy, but I like it. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I kind of, I also kind of like that this one doesn't have a fancy ace, but yeah. Let's see. I don't know. These do feel pretty good. 20 bucks though for two. They feel better than these. So there's a reason these are 10 bucks. These, these feel better than those. I'm not sure why. Oh no, I take that back. They feel the same. They feel the same. They feel exactly the same. But I'm still surprised that plastic playing cards can feel this good. Uh, but yeah, so that's uh, the Regal Monaco Elites. Now we're going to our final comparison. The final one. It's the final cut. Oh, you're not supposed to do that on YouTube. I think you'll get in trouble, right? They'll like... Um, okay, so we're just going to open the red. This is the Bicycle Prestige. This deck, I, uh, I didn't even know it existed. I was looking at somebody else's picture on Instagram. They were showing some decks at like Walmart or something. And this little guy was in the corner, like at the bottom. And I was like, what is this? So I got on Amazon and I started looking up, like what is going on here? And I found it. And I got two, I got a set. And the set was, let's see. Yeah, a pack of two for 22 bucks. So 22 and 39 cents. Um, and I love this tuck. I noticed this in the other one. This one has more, more texture than that one. So that's kind of weird, right? You could say this one's smoother. Uh, but that's a minor detail. <laughs> it's like, who cares? Um, let's see. So this one really surprised me. I don't know what these are made of. Nobody does. I'm going to say PVC. These, right out of the box, feel crazy. They don't feel... Uh, and they're regular bikes. Like, look at that back design. It looks like a regular deck, like not a regular. They're kind of like the standard. They're like the Kleenex, the Q-tip, you know, um, which you would say, uh, I don't even know what that's called, cotton swab, and then a facial tissue. <laughs> they become kind of the brand. Playing cards. Uh, they kind of own it in a way. Um, and it's a really, really iconic back design. And for that, they get a billion points because it's awesome, right? Um, and then you have your standard jokers, which is a really good joker design. I don't know how old this, this design is, but I love it. Um, and look at that. They look just like the regular bikes and you get a cool ad card, uh, that says sh sh that shuffles and performs like a dream. And I think when they say perform, they don't mean like magic. I mean, you could probably do some, some kind of magic with these, but, uh, they mean the shuffling and they're not lying. These feel really good. I don't think they're acetate. Um, I think they're more, they feel very, very, very similar to the Copags. I can remember that. I can remember the deck. Um, they feel really, really similar to them. Um, and close to these two, right? So I, I wouldn't be surprised if these were probably made in the same factory as well. Um, yeah, they're really nice. Back design gets an A. Uh, I'm, they have their their quartz class awesome has their standard bicycle ace which if you you know if you've never seen that before it looks like this also very cool very standard um, uh, and by the way when I say standard I, I'm imagining you're playing poker with these cards or card games and you're not really thinking too much about what you're looking at because that really slows the game down and it makes it a little you know uh, so that's what that's what I mean by that so when you hear me say standard. It's it's okay to be standard in the in this in this uh, in that regard. Um, so yeah, so it's the quartz, literally the standard. <laughs> like it's so good. You know that guy's face. You've seen him everywhere. Look at that little dude. All right, so um, let's find the. Um, and I don't think they have depressed queens in here. I mean, she's a little chill. She's just chill like Mona Lisa though. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, the Jokers are I already took them out. I already did the Ace. Okay, I'm not looking for anything. I was just showing. Cool. I love the way these feel. I'll show you the blue ones just so you, you see the color. 
because uh, color is very important sometimes. Not really. Um, to me it is, because I like color. I love this blue, though. <laughs> As I say that, I really like, I like color. It's like one of my favorite things. Uh, and it's huh? kind of, not really, uh, but that's a good blue. They know, they know, it's like they, they look at different blues and they're like, yeah, I'll take that blue, put the blue on the back. That's the one, you know, and they, they chose right. Um, they're identical decks though, uh, with regards to the other details like the Joker and the Ace. So yeah, so that is all of them. Now comes the final, final say. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do it by category, and then I'm going to go overall. All right? So by category, back design. I'm... Why did I start with back design? Um, these two are the worst. Uh, and then I'd say that the, other, the others are, the, are good. So if you care about a back design, if you want a more creative, like neat back design, Copag, Copag wins. Uh, their back design is really nice. And they have a whole a whole bunch of different options, which the other ones don't, uh, like I showed you before. So Copag wins it for back design. Uh, like, look at how cool those back designs are. And this is just like two of the 500 that they have, um, which I would I would recommend you look at on their site or check out Amazon or, or the, uh, there's other like dealers that sell those. Copag wins on back design. Uh, second place, I'm going to have to give it to Modiano. Um, I love this back design. It's just simple. It's classy. Uh, it's really, really well done. Yeah. So Modiano gets second and I would give third to, uh, the chem. So let's show the back design here for chem. Look at that. It's nice too. It's kind of a tie, you know, it's kind of hard to find a third place. So there you go. Uh, and then fourth gets the bikes just because it's not that new, you know, it's, it's, it's a standard, but I really like it though, regardless. Uh, yeah, and then these two tie out for for F. <laughs> not not in the end. not in the in the in the uh, in the top. Okay, so that's back design. Uh, the way they feel, I'll do that last because that's like the coolest one. Um, aces, uh, ace. Oh, oh, I. You know, the ace in the Modiano was was really good and the, and so was the Copag one. Uh, but I think the Ace, did I put it on the top here? I didn't, but I'm gonna have to say the, the best Ace, the base like Aces are in here, are the Modiano. Modiano wins Aces. Um, and it's because they have that really nice, which is probably over here, <laughs> over here looking for it, watch. Oh, look at that, see it has this Ace. Uh, and it's not too distracting. And there it is, of course, the very last card in the pack. Uh, I think they win it just because it's, I know I said that, but it's, it's, uh, you know what? It's a tie. Let's do, let's give it to Copac too. No, that's not true. It's a tie. The aces are all good. Cause I, like I said, remembered this one too. Their ace is really good too. I like their ace. I love their ace too. Cause it's so simple and so classy with just the Copac in there. Um, so aces ties, uh, they lose, um, yeah, so aces are on, on this, right? So they're, it, it, not that you really care, but this ace is good. Their ace is awesome. Their ace is also really cool. And obviously Copag's ace is good. Okay. Ace is done. Now we get to the jokers fails. We're not going here. Um, go cam, you lose it with, with the jokers. You're, you're over here now. You're with these cam. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, I'm gonna say it's a tie between. Uh, no, you know what? I love these. You get three of them too. They win. So if you want a good Joker, Modiano has the best Jokers. Uh, Runner-up would be these two right here, which are really cool. I'm like, insane Clown Posse, and uh, and you got your creepy one there. Now we get to the way they feel. The best feeling deck here is the Chem. Um, I'm telling you, they're worth the price. Uh, and then f first up would be Chem, uh, and then the runner up would be the Modiano for the next, and then third place would be uh, the Copag. Uh, and then after that, these three feel the same. These three here, these from China, these here, and then the bicycles also feel the same as these two. Um, sorry, I got a, I'm having technical difficulties here. This, this. Card is is stuck. 
Why does it do that? Um, let's do this. There you are. Okay. Now, yeah, this is this is the best feeling deck. If you don't own this one and you want to know what a good, the best way that a deck could feel, it's the Angel Food. Look at that. I don't know how to explain it. It feels the best. It is super soft. It feels very durable. Um, yeah, they win. Chem has the best feeling deck. Uh, and like I said, runner up would be uh, this second place and then Copag would be third. Um, th these feel great too. They're the same material, but for some reason these way softer. And listen to the sound. Listen, I, let's see if I can pick up the sound. I don't know if it's coming in. It's very matty. It's like boom, 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 boom. It has a very bassy sound because they're so soft. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's the review. That's it. That's the comparison. Uh, final, final one. Like if I had to say in order which ones to get in, in order, I would say get the cam first, get the Modiano second, get the Copags third, and then these, you know, maybe, sure. Uh, definitely it's these three right here. Copag, uh, these three are the best. Um, with Chem coming in in first place, Modiano coming in at second, and Copag coming in at a very, very close third to uh, the Modianos. And that's it. That's the review. Uh, I'm going to do some more stuff. I have a video coming in. Uh, oh, you'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll put it up next. It's going to be one on uh, stock. Uh, and I'm going to do a few on stock. And then I'm probably going to like start doing other kinds of packs. But that's the, that's the video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for uh, watching. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff, fun stuff. And I'll see you later.